Hello everyone, welcome to the Japanese Man Utah podcast. And it's been such a long time. I think it's been more than a year、uh, since the last episode. And obviously, I've been quite busy and I've been focusing on my main channel、uh, as well as my Japanese lessons.、Um, so, If you haven't subscribed to my Japanese lesson email list, I put the link in the description. So be sure to click it and subscribe. Now, let's get to this topic about making friends, I mean, making Japanese friends online. And I'm going to go through some of the steps, some of the important steps. Now,、uh, As to where to find Japanese friends or Japanese people who might be interested in talking to you, it doesn't really matter where to look at. For example, I prefer、uh, there's this website called Japan Guide, and it's basically you know,、uh, some, something like a travel guide or like a guide for expats in Japan. But, They have uh, this uh, section in this website where you can find friends. And the reason why I like Japan Guide, Japan Guide Friends is that it's entirely text based. So it, it really depends on your taste. I just like this pure text based approach because、uh, this way I feel like I can focus on somebody's what's inside. In, in, in a particular person, and if you want to make friends who you can get along with, I think that's the most important thing. So, less judgment on how you look, more content, more on what's inside. But you can also use other websites. I think you can use something like、uh, Hello Talk, which is more like a Language learning app, or maybe you can use italki, which is also a language learning app. And what else can I think of? Yeah, there's a lot, it doesn't really matter what to use. And in those apps, well, let's talk about Japan guys,、uh, Japan guide friends, because that's you know what, what, what I used to use. So Basically, how it works is you post an announcement. So, something like, hey, my name is Yuta. I'm looking for some friends you know, with whom I can talk about things I like, you know, I don't know, music, culture, travel, stuff like that. So, you know, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please contact me. So, that's an announcement. And if somebody is interested in what you wrote, they will write, you, write to you. And you can also、uh, read other people's announcements. And if you see something you are interested in, you can, of course, write a message to them. It's very simple. Now, again, it really depends on your taste and the kind of person you are talking to. You know, as to what to write. But I think it's usually a good practice that you introduce yourself a little bit. Well, or maybe like you can,、uh, maybe you want to write why you are interested in talking to that particular person. For example, you know, hey, I like what you wrote about this and that. Or maybe you can say something like,、ah, I, I, I like that film too. So maybe we can talk about films. But yeah, just write something and hopefully they will reply to you. So here's the thing、uh, a lot of people try to make friends online, but they will eventually give up because they feel like it never works. So、uh, for example, they exchange messages. A few times, you know, three or four times, and eventually the other person stops writing to you. And you'll be like, well, you know, there's no point if they always stop writing to me. But the thing is, here's, it's, actually, it's actually quite similar to online dating. The thing about online is that you have a lot of choices. So, 
there's literally thousands of people you can talk to. So people tend to be quite picky. So just exchanging a few messages, it doesn't really create some kind of like real、uh, bond between you guys. So, but it just means you just have to keep trying until you find somebody you can, you're really comfortable talking with, you know, you really enjoy talking to. And maybe you have to try, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. And so, my advice is don't give up easily. For example, if you write 10 messages to random people, maybe, I don't know, three people, four people will, will reply to you. And you exchange messages with them. And maybe, I don't know, one out of three, one out of five, or even one out of ten, you know, will be somebody who you can write regularly for. A long time. And it happens, it happens, it has happened to me. And I made a lot of pen friends, pen pals、uh, this way. So I was doing this when I was、uh, studying French. So I made a lot of French pen pals. And I don't know about Japanese people. No, actually, okay. So I think if you try, if you try to make friends online, I mean, real friends, you can actually meet up with Japanese people. It might be a little harder compared to、uh, people from Europe or North America. Because when I wrote, when I made online friends with French people, I was actually quite surprised that I was able to meet them in person. I mean, okay. I'm a guy, so I'm obviously, I mean, I'm a heterosexual guy, so I'm obviously interested in girls. So, you know, I would send m e s s a g e to mostly girls, but, you know, I also send m e s s a g e to guys as well. But I also tend to have a lot of female friends, so, you know, I'm usually quite comfortable talking with girls. Then eventually, if you keep exchanging messages,、uh, you will. Kind of want to meet them in person, so I suggested, Hey, you know, I'm coming to France, so why don't we meet up? Or maybe they're coming to Japan, so you know, I want to meet up with them. And all of them said yes, which is actually quite surprising for Japan, Japanese standards because, from my experience, as far as the interaction between Japanese people. You know, is concerned. If you're not Japanese, this might be a bit different, but actually, meeting up people, especially girls that you met online, is, is extremely difficult in Japan. But then again, if you are not Japanese, I think it will be a lot easier because I've known a lot of non Japanese people who met Japanese friends online. So, Don't worry about it that much. But if it feels a bit difficult, it's probably not because of you, it's because of Japanese culture. And another piece of advice is that don't try to talk to somebody. I mean, don't try to force yourself talking to somebody if you're not interested in them, if you don't quite enjoy talking to them. Just find somebody else. And I feel like this is a mistake a lot of people make because, you know, when you start exchanging messages, you kind of feel like you have to reply, even though you don't really have anything to reply. And that's kind of painful. So, well, online is one place where you can meet a lot of people for, I mean, with different kinds of interests. So, there's no need to stick with somebody. If you don't really enjoy talking to the person, yeah, that's,、uh, that's my advice. And I think, well, you can use 
online dating website to meet Japanese people as well. Not just、uh, bait them, but you can actually make friends、uh, like OKCupid, which is my favorite, but there are other websites as well. And if you want to try some online dating, it's best if you stick with major websites that are well known because, well, I think it's less common in Western countries, but in Japan, this online dating scam is extremely common. And it's a, it's a red flag if you have to pay as. So, for example, like if you have to pay every time you send, send a message or every time you use some kind of feature, that's usually a red flag. And Uh, I think major paying websites are usually quite good, but if you choose a paying web- paid website, choose something you can just pay monthly or yearly. I actually,、uh, all right. The other day, a guy sent me a message saying that he met a Japanese woman online and some kind of CD online dating website. Well, it wasn't even a dating website, I think. But what happened is that the, the woman insisted that he communicate with her only on that website. So every time he said, Oh, you know, we should exchange some other contact information, we should exchange email addresses, she would say, Oh, you know, My email, I can't open my email address, blah blah blah. So she would come up with an excuse so that he could continue talking to her. And the, the catch is on the website, there is a translating feature. And every time he would use the translating, translation feature, he had to pay. So that woman was fake, and her job was to talk to guys. So, that guy would keep using their translation service. That's a good example of online dating scam. Don't fall for that. And also, this is also important advice. When you meet people online, sometimes you feel like there's something wrong with you know, some people. And、uh, if you feel that, It's better you just don't talk to them at all. Because you never know, there's, there's some really, really weird people out there. And you don't have to deal with those people. So just stick with somebody you're comfortable talking to. And、uh, well, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. So I guess that's it for today. And well, if you are interested in learning Japanese and not just Japanese but Japanese culture as well, you should subscribe to my email list, Japanese with Yuta. I put the link in the description, so check it out. Otherwise, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.